beats and bloggers. Stay with Gemma as she gets the latest from the UAE's biggest influencers. Today I welcome on the show Mr. Mo Money. Hey, what's up Gemma? <laughs> Finally nice to meet you. It's awesome to meet you. I'm loving those moves you just did then. Oh, you know, you gotta break a move every now and then. Yeah, warm up dance. All right. And I had to say the name like that. It's just got the ring to it. I feel like a game show host. So tell me, what is the name all about, Mo Money? I mean, think about it. Everybody needs more money, right? Right. Don't you need more money? <laughs> Mo! I oh! It drops. Mic drop. There we go. Okay, so your deal is pretty much you travel all around the world experiencing the most luxury offerings. Is this not the sweetest dream gig? Do, do you even call it work? No, it is work, of course. Okay. There's hard work behind every, you know, every project, every hotel, every destination I go to. Uh, it's a lot of work put behind it. it I make it look easy, but it's a lot of work. Production, I got to plan it, the transitions, this, that. Got to put people in place. But yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work as well. I'm sure. The logistics of handling a lot of elements, yep. 100%. And what's been the most memorable experience yet? Wow. Actually, the most memorable experience was in Colombia just a few months ago. We chartered two helicopters from Medi Medellin. Did I say it right? Medellin to Guatape. Mm -hmm. uh, it was 10 of us and actually jumped out of the helicopters into the Guatape Lake. Took two speedboats and two jet skis. Flew them, raced them, raced the helicopters back to our like mega finca, which is like a, a farmhouse, mega mansion. Yeah, it was it was something. It was something else. It's on my YouTube channel. Yeah, you can check it out. I will. You you just took my <laughs> breath away describing it. Um, so you, I actually watched the video and I saw you jumping out of the helicopter. So that was into the lake. What's next? Jumping out of a you know heli skiing. Listen, I don't even know what's next. What I, just whatever ideas pop in my head, I'm like, you know what? Let me, because we wanted to just charter the helicopter. We were like, well, how can we make it more extreme? Let's jump out of it. How hard was it? Uh, I don't remember. The adrenaline was pumping. All I thought was, let me make it even better. Let me front flip. So I did a front flip out the helicopter. <laughs> yeah, not even just a pencil dive. I'm going to do a flip. Watch this. Well, yes. I'm glad we're talking after this. So that I know you I'm landed here. safely. Yes, I'm here. all limbs are attached. Yes. <laughs> There's nothing missing. So obviously you are an adrenaline junkie and you were quite adventurous then. Have you ever though been offered something so extreme you actually had to say no? Or you're the ultimate daredevil? I mean You're speechless. I, listen, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how many people are listening to this right now. I'm sure it's a lot, but let's hear it. If you have something I've never rejected anything, no. So let's see if there's something that that's worth rejecting. I don't think there is. Well, let's see. And I'm open for options. I'm open for challenges. Okay, and there's definitely a preference for jumping out of objects high in the air. Anything crazy, insane, anything that has to do with traveling, anything fun. I like actually extreme. I'm going for the extreme now, so bring it on. Oh, that's killer. <laughs> I love it. But also, so I've seen you jump out of the helicopter. You've jumped out of a plane. What else could you jump out of? I think we've I think we've covered the air. I was on the gyrocopter the other day, the gyrocopter, sorry. And uh, I I asked if I could jump out of that. That wasn't an option. I don't even know what that is. The little mini helicopter, the Skydive Dubai. Oh, okay, you okay. Know, the little mini one you saw, see, it's not a huge helicopter. It's only for two people. And you jump out of that? No, I wanted to, oh. but he didn't allow me. No. Okay. It's not allowed. No <laughs> okay. jumping out the gyrocopter. So they, actually, they actually buckle you in. They're like, Mo, we said you can't jump. No jumping out of this moving vehicle, flying vehicle. <laughs> Normally, I think they're trying to push people out of those uh, scenarios, but not you. Yep. You're eager. You're itching to go. Locking me in. If you're just tuning in, we're live on Instagram, Dance FM UAE. I'll be right back with Mr. Mo Money. Beats and bloggers. Stay with Gemma as she gets the latest from the UAE's biggest influencers. I'm here back with Mo Money and the name says it all in one. He's all about the Lux life. Where better to do that than here in Dubai, the land of no limits. So in what moment, Mo, have you actually had to pinch yourself because you thought, is this even real? Are you talking about Dubai or the Dubai. lifestyle? Because Dubai is unreal. I mean... It has not stopped. Every day, every other day, there's something new. Because I'm not running out of content. That's what's beautiful. Like, oh, what can I do today? There's always something to do. Luckily. It's incredible. Yeah, can you imagine if you were kind of skipping at straws, <laughs> looking for ideas? Oh, what do I do? Oh, the Burj, the Burj <laughs> yeah. Khalifa, the frame, the souks, the, the... Oh, my goodness. It's unreal. Now, of course, Dubai, we're going to talk about supercars. 
which one took your breath away? And I say it like a love story because that's what it's like for most guys, isn't it? When you see the one. I've honestly, I've driven a lot. I've driven the Bugattis, the Ferraris, the Lamborghinis, the blah, 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 the supercars, the hypercars. But the one that blew my mind was when uh, I did the charity event with Deals on Wheels and IMG Worlds. I think this was two years ago. Uh, we got I got to drive in all the supercars. We had like 25 supercars inside IMG World of Adventure. So uh, they were all vying for your attention. Yes, but I got to drive them all inside, like inside the actual park. But okay. the one that I really loved that I drove inside was the Pagani Huera. That's like a two to three million dollar car, and it's like a spaceship inside. It's ridiculous. I felt it was love at first sight. Yikes! Do the owners of these cars do they run you through a test drive just to make sure that you're not going to floor it? And then, oops, I got a little bit of a ding on the front. Sorry about that. As you hand back the keys. No, I mean as long as you know these car dealerships is mostly deals on wheels is continuously giving me cars um that means i'm doing something right you know i'm not crashing them i'm not getting tickets so thank god knock on wood and let me just keep that up and is it true sometimes the launch is an even bigger deal than the actual supercar itself so for example the finia super sport launch did it really cost was it two, two mil- it's like 2.1 i think two million dollars million dollars it was a, i think uh like W Motors, I think they had it, and it was a, they invited me over, and I did the grand launch. And that's also on my YouTube channel as well. You should check it out. The poor car, if it could have a voice, it'd be like, "Hey, over here, I'm the big it's deal." Me. Yeah, <laughs> Ev, like the, yeah, the launch had so many people in it. It was more of a big deal than the actual car. Yeah, you're right. It was crazy. Now, as a Dubai social media celebrity, you are going to be the first to know about anything new, exciting that's going to drop. Can you share any whispers with us? I can share one thing. Um, I just started working closely with a friend of mine. He's Normando the Magician. Um, So you're going to be seeing a lot, a lot of magic in Dubai. Street magic, close-up magic, insane stuff. So make sure you guys stay tuned uh, to my YouTube channel, to his YouTube and Instagram channel. And uh, be prepared. We will do. Can you explain, is his style similar to any other world-famous magicians? I would say... De, de, you know, a mixture of like David Blaine, Chris Angel, just all sorts of stuff. I mean, you obviously, you have to be in a certain environment. Okay, well, this is exciting. Yeah, yeah. We should have brought him in. We will. We'll bring him in. <laughs> oh, of he course. just popped up. He oh, just popped up. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't really. <laughs> um, and where are you packing your suitcase for next? Next, uh, in a few days, I'm going to Beirut, um, a friend's wedding there. So I'll go there, enjoy the wedding. And then two weeks from now, I'm going to Greece. Probably going to go to Mykonos. Uh, and then I want to go to India because I have a very fu- uh, high following from India. So I want to go to India and say hi to a lot of my supporters there. Busy time. We will try and keep track. For sure. Let's do it. Thank you, Mo Money, for joining me on the show Thanks today. Thanks for having me. If you missed it, catch our interview at dancefm.com. This is James Hype remixing Charlie Poo's Done For Me on Dance FM. I love-